We begin tonight with an update on the historic red covered bridge in Princeton, Illinois, that was severely damaged by a semi truck last November. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sharon DeReek. And I'm Redrick Terry. The 160 year old iconic bridge outside of Princeton remains closed tonight, and it may be a long road ahead before it can be restored. TV6's Kyle Bales was in Princeton today and joins us now with an update on what comes next in this situation, Kyle. Yeah, Redrick, it was shortly after 7 a.m. on November 16th. A semi truck and trailer that exceeded height clearance drove through the covered bridge, leading to extensive damage that forced authorities to shut it down. And the Illinois Department of Transportation performed some repairs on the bridge in December, temporarily shoring the roof to keep it secure until full repairs or restoration can be completed at a later time. Right now, a bridge condition report is being completed before they move forward to phase one report that will define the scope of the work needed, along with a preliminary cost estimate in coordination with the Illinois State Historic Preservation Office. An IDOC spokesperson says this could be a lengthy process. Preparation detailed construction plans and specifications, as well as a detailed cost estimate. That phase is expected to take 12 to 18 months to complete, and that'll result in uh, advertising repair contract to bidders. Now, when all is said and done, officials say it could be years before the bridge is restored to the way it was before the crash. It's just such an important piece of our history. Um, I think everyone here in Princeton is passionate that the restoration will happen. Everyone is really playing their part to ensure that the restoration happens, but um, we at this point just have to remain patient until we, till we get more answers from IDOT um, to begin the process. Now the Illinois State Police say speeding was not a factor in the crash and that the driver was not cited for any violations. However, the trucking, the trucking company told us the driver was terminated as a result of the incident. All right, thank you, Kyle. Now the bridge was built way back in 1863 and remains only one of five covered bridges in the state of Illinois.